Joel, that was your first start for a while against uh, Melbourne Victory. You got a goal as well. Things probably couldn't have gone too much better, personally. Oh, look, it's, it's good to be back back with the team in the starting eleven. Um, I guess being an attacking player, that's, that's, your, that's your aim, to score goals, uh, win us games. It was good to get on the score sheet. Easy tap in, I guess. Um, but I guess you've got to be in the right spot to, to score the goals. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't get the win, but I guess we'll, we'll take the point away from home. And now we've got two home games to come, and hopefully we can... Uh, Push towards the finals. It was looked at as a, a pretty tough test, but Sydney came through it uh, pretty well, I thought. Yeah, I think so as well. I mean, we, we shut them out pretty well. They didn't create too many sort of clear-cut chances. Um, we were good on the break, on the counter-attack. We created plenty of chances for ourselves. It's just about us now finishing those chances that we do create and making the most of them because that's that's what we need to do now, coming up to finals. And now we're in a position in sixth place uh, on the ladder, inside the final zone. It's, it's all in our own hands. That's right, we win both games we we play finals simple as that we've got two home games can't ask for a, a better draw um, but we've got two teams that won't want to lose um, I guess Wellington this week we don't have the greatest of record against they're going to come out and they they're going to they're going to play hard and make sure we don't we don't win it at home um, everyone loves to knock a team out especially at the finals so they'll be aiming to do that and and we'll be there trying to trying to push for the finals so it's going to it should be a great game and hopefully fans come out and and support us do you think it matters that uh, Wellington haven't really got too much left to play for they've got a little sneak of a chance to to get into the finals but uh, it's looking doubtful for them uh, there's always hope for every team in this competition you know how close it is and it, uh, one team slips up the, the other team sort of they, they jump in front of you so look yeah, they, they won't be thinking they're out of it by any any means and if even if they are there nobody wants to go in on a losing note everybody wants to win their game so and nothing better than beat Sydney FC we've always everyone wants to beat us so uh, we'll, we'll be up for the, for the challenge we'll work hard this week and we'll be ready it's the final game of the weekend. Does that give Sydney an advantage or disadvantage, possibly, depending on what happens in the results prior? It could put more pressure on or take some. Yeah, off. it can probably work uh, both ways. I guess you saw the same with Newcastle. They knew their sort of their fate. If they won, they jumped in front of us, but they but they didn't. So it can it can work both ways. But look, we won't really rely on too many other results. We rely on ourselves. We win. We play finals. We know that, and it'll be as simple as that. And it's a Sunday afternoon, five o'clock kick off this week. Uh, how important will the the crowd be? It's also a very Good time for families to get out there. How important will, will that crowd be? Yeah, definitely. Not being too late. I guess you, the, the families will be able to get back home and, and, and get back to work the, the next morning. So hopefully we get a good crowd there. It's We, we need all the support we can get, get be that extra man for us. Um, we haven't, I don't think we've played a Sunday sort of game for a, for a while at home, so it should be uh, should be good, something interesting. And the afternoon game should be should be good for the families to get out there and really give us a bit of support.